Staged RTAP repair of a strangulated femoral hernia. Our patient is a 75-year-old male admitted with an upper GI bleed. GI was consulted, performed an EGD, which revealed a non-bleeding Mallory Weiss tear. Past medical history is significant for AFib, oncumidin, coronary artery disease, diabetes, and hypertension. Two days after being admitted to the hospital, he started complaining of abdominal pain, persistently high NG tube output, and right groin pain. A CT scan of the abdomen and pelvis was then performed, which revealed a small bowel obstruction secondary to an incarcerated right femoral hernia. General surgery was consulted, the INR was normalized, and the patient was brought to the operating room. In cases where bowel handling is necessary, I like to use a low grip strength double fenestrated grasper with my left hand and a fenestrated bipolar with my right hand. The bowels ultimately reduced. At this point in time, we request anesthesia to inject 5 cc's of indocyanine green. This clearly reveals a necrotic segment of small bowel. In strangulated cases such as these requiring bowel resection, I elect for a stage repair of the femoral hernia. A portion of the sac is reduced and will be used as a patch to decrease the risk of immediate recurrence. Rio PDS suture is used, and I try to stay away from the future site of transabdominal preperitoneal dissection. His immediate post op course was unremarkable, and the patient was discharged to a sniff on post op day four. Six weeks later, the patient was consented for definitive repair. Here was the site of the temporary patch. With clear visualization of the epigastric vessels, it is clear that I'm not in the true preperitoneal space. Here is an image of the incarcerated femoral hernia. I dissect on each side of the sac to better delineate the incarceration. It is clear that the sac didn't reduce easily. Here you see medial dissection, exposure of the pubic symphysis, and dissection into the space of retius. Here is parietalization of the cord structures and posterior peritoneal dissection over psoas. The critical view of the myopectinium orifice is identified. Triangle of doom, pain, the internal ring, femoral space, an obturator foramina. The upper lip of the peritoneum is dissected to facilitate subsequent closure. This is a 12 by 16 centimeter sheet of ProGrip. Note the inferior edge of the mesh is remote to that of the inferior edge of the peritoneum. Also note that with peritoneal manipulation, the inferior edge does not clamshell. My resident then completes peritoneal closure utilizing 3O VLOC suture.